Hello everybody. In this video, you're going to learn how to create email templates inside your Sweet CRM system. Okay, so let's go. I assume you want to communicate with your customers and your leads and prospects. Therefore, you would use phone and emails, of course. And additionally, you want your CRM system to take part of some of the communication and automatically send some emails to your customers and prospects. In order to get this right and look good and easy, you would have to use those email templates which are available as a module inside your Sweet CRM system. So let's open those up and check them out. Email templates module. You can see per default, with the installation, there have already been a couple of email templates installed for you. So here are these, let's just check one out. So forget, forgot password email. I'll see what it can do or how it does look like. So name, okay, we've got a name, then we've got a subject, and here we've got some, yeah, some information about your recently requested password, okay. And we've got some variables, as it seems like, which can come from here. Nothing special, all good. I think that works and we can just take it as it is. Unless, of course, you want to customize those internal emails as well. And then go ahead, do so and adjust them according to your needs. We are going to build some more new email templates now here. So first of all, I want to create an email template. And I would just call this newsletter June 24. Type will be a campaign. So description, whenever it makes sense to you to add those descriptions. Subject will be news for you in June. So send text only. In some campaigns, it really works. So you have to see the difference here. Those text emails usually are those important ones, maybe a system message or from your friends or something, which um, will send you usually text only. And those with uh, like very nice formatting with pictures inside and, and different text formats, these are the ones that want to sell you something. So therefore, maybe the text only will, will convey a higher trust level. You'll have to see for yourself, have to measure the conversion rate, the opening rate, and see what works for you here. What do you want to have inside your newsletter? Maybe you want to have a headline. Maybe you want to have something like here, a small block, and maybe you want to have a footer as well. And then what can you do with this? So you can add your headline here and then use for you and title. So now you would just build up the content of the newsletter that you intend to send out. And therefore, Usually you have the content somewhere on your website and I would just go ahead and use like any of my articles and say something like new article and then I would paste this one here. I can keep the lorem ipsum here, but don't have to. So now I want to copy the link address because people should be able to click on this. So I mark this one here. Control and K opens up a pop-up where I can enter the link. So text to display, this is automatically filled because I just marked the text. And then I want to open this in a new window. And then what's left to do here is my sample, my picture. And as you can see, there are a couple of options with a picture. And here again, I got this demo, um, this demo pop-up, this pop-up. And here I need to, oh, I have three options now. Either I attach the file into the email and try to reference it here, or I use base64 to encode the image and then have it inline in my, in my image tag, or I just use an external source, which is something like it's hosted somewhere on the internet and I can load it here. And that's what I'm doing. So. Here I would right click on this picture, copy the address of the picture and just replace it. Now I can um, add some alternative description, customizations. 
and this will show up just in case there's a there's a like the images are prevented from being loaded inside the email client and then we've got some footer information like um, company something so then we've got all the details right here and we can give this a try so what else is there to do edit in plain text you usually you'd wish well, you would usually do this afterwards so you first save this and then you have a generated plain text for you in the background then document if you have documents stored inside your crm system then you can link them here or upload file just like a standard attachment both are attachments so i go back into the plain text so i can show you here as well so this one has been automatically generated for us looks good so far just in case html can't be displayed in the in the receiving email client and they have configured to show only only html uh, only text emails so now i go to any lead and i would go ahead and send an email of course if you're doing newsletter campaigns later on you would go by the campaigns module check out my video on the campaigns there but just for testing or it could be any other template as well it doesn't have to be a newsletter template here that we're going to send out you would do it in this way so you go to your contact to your lead to your target and then click onto the email address then you're redirected from the lead or from the contact module into the email module with related to the lead that we just have been at and clicked it and now i can here select my newsletter in june was it newsletter in june and your headline here no it was newsletter in newsletter june 24 and I get this small window ask whether I want to replace everything that I did so far and yes I did want to because it was the wrong one that I selected so now subject body have been replaced that looks so far so good and I can send it out now it takes a while and then the, uh, the pop-up here is on the very top of the screen it's not being scrolled directly to the pop uh, to the top but for a big screen you won't even notice the problem just on a small screen you see the problem here so you see in the timeline my email has been added already same here in the history so you can see all the emails that have been sent out to this lead i can click onto the email it has been stored here inside my crm system and from here i can click back to the lead because you see it's related as well very nice so i move over and i want to check out this email so i would go to this email testing service here and uh, open my email and this looks so far so good the text has been loaded you see it's not completely beautiful so here we've got new article a bit bigger than the link but the link seems to be clickable and yeah so far it looks okay let's change to a different um to a different device so now a tablet Oh, and here I can see some text is already cut off. And if I change to the mobile view, oh dear, that looks really not, not good anymore. So if I receive a newsletter like this, it's quite basically very, very useless unless I have to do horizontal scrolling on my mobile device. So no, that's this customer experience is broken. We can't do it in this way. So we have to figure out something else. So what to do here? if you go to your profile at the very bottom you go to the configuration option and per default you're using the mosaic that was the editor that you've just seen where we built the template so now there's direct html as well if you're working in a big organization multinational or whatever you have a corporate identity with a communication that always looks needs to look the same when it goes out and therefore you probably have a team and they're technically creating the html for you and you just have to paste it or they do this one for you as well and you just have to pick the newsletter so this is one is you have to write your email your html by yourself and tiny mc is a nice balance in between it doesn't have those blocks that we built which are not flexible at the same time we don't have to write html code if we don't want to but we can so I switch to this and 
Let's create another email template newsletter in June. Now we're planning the newsletter for July. Newsletter July 24. Again, here we've got a campaign email subject um, discounts for you. In or Mama, be fast, be fast and click now, open it now, whatever. So, and here we've got now something like you see the the editor already looks different. So here, what can we do here? Basically more or less the same, but you will be able to, um, you, you know this already from creating other content online from Word. It looks fairly similar. So hello, let's add a variable from the leads and we want to use the first name and that's the variable itself and the value should then be parsed or rendered into the email after we've sent it out. Mm, we've or you've got news. So now I can do basically exactly the same. And well, let's copy this one first. So first I want to have the picture. You've got news. And now I want to add the image here. And that looks very similar again. Alternative description is sweet CRM customization. And I click on save. Then I copy the title itself. And maybe I want to have a, something like new article. And this one should be bold. So I press Control B. And this one here should be a link, so I have to copy the link first. Copy the link, Control K, then you get a similar pop-up again. I can select the right link, title, you don't have to at the moment, and new window will be the um, opening up in a new window. So the email will still be there after clicking it. So and maybe we want to have this in a different format, so there's the option of Let's say, for instance, this one is a heading to format. So you see, it's possible to format this a little bit. You don't have too many options, but a few. And I would always uh, try to be cautious here. Not, Don't do too much colors and stuff. So the less, the better. Usually you want to have maybe three different types, four different types of, of fonts font sizes ideally the fonts are the same unless the corporate identity says like the heading always looks like this and so on but you will know this basically from your um, from your style guide that you have in your company so image we've seen it is already linked out as well and then table if you want to add a table if you want to go into uh, and send out a lot of emails then you would usually work on those email templates and make them look really good and if you have like many customers you're sending plenty of emails and you would go to search any like great email newsletter templates or something and then you take ideas from there maybe take components from there or build inside another html editor your email and then paste this here you can do this as well so here if you just use tools source code and you want to add some custom html here you can do this as well so then you would be good and fine and you've got this one here ready. Let's save this and try to send it out as well. So we go back to the leads and it was this one here. Again, I click on the email and I want to have the template of July. Of course, I want to replace what we have so far. It looks a bit different as you can see already. So I click on send, scroll to the top and wait for a little while and then I go back to the overview here. It should load my emails. And it looks a bit different already. So you don't have this grayish background. It's on the left side, which doesn't look as good. And if you switch now to the tablet view and to the mobile phone view, at least everything works. So you don't have anything cut off. You don't have to scroll horizontally, at least not too much. So that's probably because of the picture. You have to pay attention to the size of your pictures that you're using. But 
we're all good. The only thing that I maybe want to do is email templates and I go back to the July one and I want to center the whole thing. So I click somewhere, press control A and then everything is marked and then I go to format, align and then either justify or center. Justify might be more reasonable if you have like a, like a outer borders of a table or something and then it would fit better. So new article and that's totally fine. I just save this in this way and I would basically go back and do the same thing again and click on this one here. And now this poor test account will receive my third try, but it already looks a bit better. Hopefully on the email client will look as be well better. So back to the client. So if you're doing this more professional, you're sending out like tons of emails, then you would have there are testing services where I can send your email to. And then you've got like many different resolutions, many different devices that you can preview basically. And here we've got yeah, a little bit better layout. As you can see now it's centered. It just looks better. And I would do it in this way. So try to use tiny MCE, try to make it a bit flexible, try to yeah, check it on on smartphones before you send it out to like a bigger audience before you start your mailing campaign. That's it for the email templates video. See you next time. Bye.